After St. Stephen is stoned to death and becomes the first martyr of the Christian church, the church is persecuted in Jerusalem. Refugees from this persecution start the church in Antioch, where the question comes up, do you have to become a Jew first in order to become a Christian? More after this. The city of Antioch was one of the major centers in the eastern part of the Roman Empire. It is located on the Orontes River close to the Turkish city of Antakya. In Antioch, the followers of Jesus Christ were for the first time called Christians. How exactly the church began is difficult to discern. It seemed the church started when members of the congregation in Jerusalem fled after the prosecution of St. Stephen and came to Antioch. Historical information about Stephen comes entirely from the New Testament. Stephen was one of the seven deacons of the church in Jerusalem who were tasked with the welfare of the members of the community. At this point, the church was still completely Jewish. It understood itself to be part of Judaism and it kept Jewish laws and customs. However, their understanding of the faith started to deviate from traditional beliefs as it elevated Jesus Christ, a human, to a quasi-divine position. The fully fleshed out theology that sees Jesus as a second person of the Trinity is still centuries away, but the followers of Jesus become distinctive as a resurrected Christ who ascended into heaven becomes the central figure of their faith. For traditional Jews, that is blasphemy, and the teaching and preaching of the Jesus movement cause a significant conflict. Eventually, Stephen is tried for blasphemy. In his trial, he denounces the Jewish authorities who sit in judgment over him, and the result is that he is sentenced to death by stoning. The sentence is carried out with the participation of Saul of Tarsus, who later becomes the Apostle Paul. Following the execution of Stephen, there seems to be a widespread persecution of the church that sends many to flee from Jerusalem. They seek refuge all over ancient Israel, and part of the refugees are believed to end up in Antioch, where they established the first church. Antioch had a large Jewish community, and it seems that in the beginning converts were recruited entirely from among the Jews of Antioch. As the community grew, tradition has it that Peter, as well as Paul and Barnabas started to preach there. The problem was that they preached different things, and that gave rise to one of the first major conflicts of early Christianity. Peter on one side, Paul and Barnabas on the other, represented different groups of the early Christian movement. And the question that divided them was whether pagans have to become Jews first in order to become Christians. Gentiles are non-Jews. Even before Christianity, the Jewish faith was attractive to many non-Jews. The Bible calls them God-fearers. They are part of synagogue communities. They believe in the God of Israel and in some cases they give substantial financial support to the synagogues. But they don't go the last step of conversion, which would mean to be circumcised and to keep the Jewish food laws. Both are extremely questionable practices for pagans in the Greco-Roman world. The question of conversion becomes more and more relevant as more pagans start to convert to Christianity. The community in Jerusalem, ground zero for the Jesus movement, led by James, the brother of the Lord, says, yes, being Christian means converting to Judaism first. Paul and Barnabas, who specifically preach a gospel to non-Jews, say, no, you do not need to convert to Judaism first in order to become a Christian. And more about Paul in a later video. 
Peter is somewhere in between. While he teaches in Antioch, he socializes and eats with Gentile converts. Who eats with whom and what they eat is a big deal at the time and modern people have a hard time to appreciate that. That Peter has table fellowship with non-Jews is a scandal. It is such a big deal that Jerusalem dispatches emissaries and when they arrive in Antioch, Peter falls back in line with Jerusalem. And this causes the Apostle Paul to accuse him of hypocrisy. The conflict is settled at the Council of Jerusalem in 50 or 51 AD. After that, Gentiles can become Christians without converting to Judaism first. In the course of history, Antioch emerged as a major center of early Christianity. The bishop of Antioch became Patriarch, which is a super-bishop, and he's part of the Pentarchy. The word comes from the Greek word penta, five. It is the idea that the Christian church is governed by five patriarchs, those of Antioch, Rome, Constantinople, Alexandria, and Jerusalem. But naturally, every one of those patriarchs thought that his see or seed is a little more important than the others and they vie for primacy throughout antiquity. Today, the sole remaining major player in the Christian world is the Holy See in Rome. Its head is a pope, the Bishop of Rome, whose church has somewhere around 1.3 billion members worldwide. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I see you in the next video.